save that. <laughs> you, you have an evil song? I don't think yeah. that's too late for it, Rachel. Okay, well, I mean, it's not, it's not too late for an alignment dip. <laughs> Come on, evil no. campaign, who's down? No. I'm, I'm, do I'm actually, I'm doing an evil campaign in a, different, in a different game, but that's the game that's on hiatus. I'd be really sucky at evil campaign. But no, evil I do campaigns have, I do have, an evil have to be we'll very see. careful. Wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it get really boring really rapidly? Like you see an old man by the side of the road. It gets, it's like it depends. I'm going to if you're set like, him on fire. If, if you're being like a vaudeville mustache twirling villain, yeah, it does get boring fast. But, <laughs> you can but, you know, evil. Evil. you know, your personal agenda. You know, but the thing is, if you're doing an evil campaign such that like you're at, you're actually you know uh, being the world uh, the world uh, spanning conqueror, that can get really interesting. Okay. Um, are we, we're all ready. Just a second, I'm finishing my Some last you, Zach. Okay, well if she's Zach finishing is. up, I'm gonna sing the evil song. Mm. Evil comes in many flavors, sizes, shapes, and underwear. My evil is unsurpassed. Something rhymes with underwear. <laughs> Rick, what did you just do to my anthem? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Adele, I demand you take points off of Rick. Rick, you lose uh, minus five. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> We're insulting Scarab's heritage, mm, even though she would have made exactly the same joke. There you go. I can make it quite a bit of a milk, Scarab. Shh. You shush, Canadians. <laughs> More to the point, why is your heritage based in Ode to Joy? Uh, Carisho has a dream where a bunch of people from Monty Python are, like, hurling holy hand grenades at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Something so, uh, rhymes with underwear indeed. <laughs> when we last... Okay, let's give a, a recap, because it has been a while. Um, when we last left our heroes... Yeah, when we last left our heroes, you guys showed up on Nona Island of the Moore Islands, which surround a giant magic tree. And uh, this, is a big, this is a pretty big deal because there's not really magic outside of the islands. It's very rare. So a lot of people think there's a lot of cool riches to be found here, especially because there was an ancient civilization, which well, uh, why you guys... Which is why you guys uh, showed up, because you uh, were hired to investigate some ruins on Nona Island. Uh, after successfully taking forever to do that, um, you got rewarded, and then uh, you were recommended to join the Adventurers Guild. But first you uh, went back to the inn to rest up, where you confronted a uh, captain of the Moray Navy, Heinrich, who was questioning uh, the thugs you guys killed <laughs> uh, during the first session, and he mentioned that they were working for someone called Lamont, and he needed your help investigating them. Although he didn't exactly explain why, it does seem like the Navy is kind of shorthanded at the moment. Um, after, that, you tried to go after that, you tried to go to sleep, but a giant enemy crab appeared outside, and you had to fight it. Yeah, but and unfortunately, we hit its weak point for massive damage. You did. You did hit its weak point for massive damage. I, I remember, I believe, Rich Kaddish hurled an axe into its face. <laughs> I think so. While, while, being, while being pincered. If I were to draw this crab, could I perhaps omit the axe from its face? Just no, make it no, visual. the axe is crucial. You can put, you put the axe on its way to its face. How's that? The axe yeah, needs to have the, little arm, the arms and legs. It needs little arms and legs and a smiley face. And it's like kind of, uh, you know, dance walking towards the crab. And then I'm not giving the axe on a smiley face. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys are standing over the body of a gigantic crab. Uh, it is certainly dead. And uh, Javik from the innkeeper, runs out and yells, Jump at Jehoshaphat's! <laughs> and, uh... He... Our Jehoshaphat's do jump. <laughs> he, would he, would, he would know. Um, he goes, G -G -G Holy crap! You, you actually, like, you just saved my inn. That thing would have torn it up. 
Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Can we the, go um, to sleep now? Oh yeah, yes, of course. It's just I can't believe uh, a fr a monster attacked the city. This is the first attack we've had in like five years. This place is completely walled off, as you as you foreknow. Mm. Uh, well, listen, uh, I know I know I heard you guys talking to Heinrich. Um, I highly recommend you mention this to the Navy as soon as you can. Okay. Well, the thing is that the docks aren't that closed off, so it doesn't terribly surprise me that an, an, an aquatic creature could get in. Yeah, that you can't really keep out a crab. Trust me on this one. Crabs can get in anywhere. Like, never set up your caravan on a beach. <laughs> really bad idea, especially in the middle of mating season. Just crabs everywhere. Yeah. Javik kind of nods in agreement though. with you. And he he does agree that it is possible it came from, since we are at the port, that it came from the port. But uh, at the same time, the reason a lot of Navy aren't uh, on the, sh like, uh, in the city is because they're patrolling the shore and the ocean, like, immediately following it. You only so need one I person to fall asleep on duty. To typical have to human so soldiers to not notice something like that. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but Vishkadish has a point. There really should have been somebody to notice the giant crabs. Um, you know. Honestly, you only need one person to fall asleep in order to let a crab in. It's true, it's and true. it could have been any of the other non-humans in the Navy who fucked up. <laughs> also uh, true. Oh, I see. Yeah. Typical human. You don't think a human could ever do any wrong. Vishkadish. <laughs> Calm. Wait, when Moby said about breathing. Would you like a dancing light? I can make yeah. a dancing light if that would help. Listen, you. human, I don't need you to patronize me. Ooh. Rish, relax. I'm sure it was the human's fault. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, Javik is like, you please just go get rest. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely needs it. She's very crappy. The, the, night, the night's going to be on me uh, for saving my inn. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he, he kind of goes back to whatever he was doing. Wait, so you're saying that so if a monster Rish attacks your inn and we kill the monster, then you'll let us bed for free? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the I, I can smell that is, bad idea. <laughs> this is no strife solution. Do you want to... Do you want to try and, and diplomacy him here on, on selling him this idea? I'm going nah. to count this. I don't think uh, it would be worth he's, it. He's going to go back and drink heavily. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> so then you guys go back to bed. Millhouse asks what's up. You kind of tell him to shut up. And then uh, you get your rest, and now it's the morning. Yay! And what are you guys going to do? <sighs> Well, we you mentioned watch. multiple times we should that uh, we should consider the adventurers guild. It is one possibility we could probably find more uh, more jobs to uh, uh to explore more areas that way. Yeah, we can always come back to the navy and the crab thing a little bit. Maybe we should actually go and start finding a guild well, of some well, description. Well, literally, we you know we can at least go to the adventurers guild to listen to what they have going on, and if it's not worth it, then we can choose, uh, choose to do something. Smart enough. Uh, Alright, okay. so you uh, leave the inn, and uh, probably you have the idea where the, where the guild is. <laughs> Out of the inn. What do we have to do to do that again? Can we, can we direction? Oh, local knowledge. You have local knowledge. Oh, that, oh knowledge local, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I you can also do a, uh, I guess a diplomacy if you wanted to, like, ask people around town where it is. Hey, look, it's the exact same check for me. Hey, cool, we'll do one. Okay, that's my dice about to roll off the table. <laughs> okay, that's a twenty-six. Alright, um you you just ask a random passerby and they're like, Oh yeah, it's you know, it's actually in uh the in between the noble district and port side. Hmm, that kinda, makes sense. So uh it's kinda towards the center of town of the city. And okay. uh yeah, he tells you that and then he goes, Now leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, I was going to thank him, but he's going to be rude about it. We'll just go. <laughs> uh, all right, so you guys 
can very easily make your way over there, no problems. On the way, you do overhear other people talking about uh, other attacks that happened last night. Apparently, uh, there was not just a single crab. There were at least two or three. One showed up in the noble district, and it uh, now the nobles are all up in a in a tizzy. Uh, a lot of them are a lot of them are meeting at the Bastille, which is a like a a place where they all kind of meet and talk about uh, laws and like movements in the city. Well, that's to, meeting to possibly deal with the situation or at least get a handle on it. Man, if we hadn't gone back to sleep, we would have had so much more fun. <laughs> If you call barbecuing crabs in the middle of the night fun, sure, be my guest. But That's what Javik's doing. There's going to be a great meal. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys just got him a bunch of free food, basically. Woo! Excellent. Yeah, we're going to be staying more than one night for free, I'm hoping, for that. <laughs> <laughs> we saved his livelihood and, and we got him free, free provisions. <laughs> we're just charisma him, come on. Yeah, gets- so you... Out of character, we'd get to the desk to the Adventurers Guild a lot faster if he'd stop throwing distractions at us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you you make it make it up to the building. It's uh, you know pretty typical looking, uh, very open, and there are just like the most diverse cast of people all around this place. It's packed. Uh, you know there are half orcs, humans, elves, half elves, all in varying degrees of armor and weapons. Some looking far stronger than others. Um, and they're kind of crowding the entrance, so it looks like there are there's a lot going on. Um, oh. You try and, you know, you weasel your way through with a little bit of difficulty. Oh. oh. Um, yeah, you, you kind of have to push some people aside. Most of them kind of ignore you, even when you ask them to move. But, uh... You know, Rish Gadish has spiky armor, so uh, they, they <laughs> kind of you hear a couple of yowches and they, they move out of the way. Um, nice. You you get up to the counter and there is a uh, very hectic looking individual wearing uh, glasses, short brown hair, uh, and he's scribbling notes like crazy as uh, guild members are coming up and requesting to take certain jobs. And he, he kind of absentmindedly waves you along as if you were already uh, a guild. Uh, but then when he notices you don't leave, he looks up and goes, Oh, well, sorry. Uh, who might you be? What can I do? What can I do for you? Uh, uh, my name is uh, Karisho Mitrodol, and my companions and I are interested in joining, uh, uh, interested in what the guild has to offer. Guild has to offer? Well, we have... I mean, we always have jobs, especially now after that whole uh, monster situation last night. They are rounding us up. Um, well, let's see. He he starts sh- shifting through some uh, papers. You wouldn't happen to be... Is there a, is there a Dirk with you? Oh, what? No last name, no last name given? <laughs> no last name given. Uh-huh. Yeah. Is there is there a, is there a Dirk no, no clue what your last name is here? That would be me. Um, all right. Um, yeah, Heinrich told me you'd be showing up with a group. Uh, so we can hurry this along. He actually uh, told me to speed up any processes if you guys decide to show. So nice of him. I'm just going to need your signatures. He hands out a piece of paper. I need your signatures on this. And, uh, who is the leader? And finally, what is your guild name? <laughs> the guild is the leader. Who the heck's the leader? Dirk. I think it's probably, I'd say it was Rick, actually. He's supposed to be the one who takes command in most situations. Um, well, I'm saying Rich Kodish votes Dirk as the leader. Yeah, but Rich Kodish would. If but, you, the leader is purely superficial if you're worried about it. We mostly, we just like having a leader to be the one to get the goal, then it be on the gill to distribute it. I, I vote for Rishul. The no, human here is the say, leader. Nobody's going to vote for Dirk after hearing that he, the, the leader gets to handle the money. Rishkotis <laughs> <laughs> is fine with that. Dirk's the one who pays her. <laughs> I think we're at a bit of an impasse in terms of voting here. 
Why don't we flip a coin? Well, I was actually gonna vote for uh, Carisho. What are you thinking, human? That's two Carisho. Carisho, what's your vote? Um, I mean, <laughs> uh, how about I abstain? <laughs> non option. <laughs> 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 it means we have to either vote for somebody completely off the wall, or vote for Dirk, and then we have to flip the I coin. I vote for that dog. <laughs> <laughs> that dog is part of our guild. Uh, you know what? Really get, get, um, <laughs> the thing is, Creature's not necessarily he's comfortable with any voting for any of you. So how about he will vote for Dirk, and we'll do a and we'll uh, uh, we'll draw lots for it. Oh, of course. Okay. It's me. I'm just gonna roll evens or odds and. Dirk, you'll be odds. I'm going to draw okay. Swoofy. Uh, evens. Carisho, you're the leader. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, now, then you all have to sign your names. Uh, Rishkadish, do you know how to no read? No offense, Jack. Yes. Uh, yeah, because um, all characters know how to read in Pathfinder. Okay. <laughs> Unless Rishkadish you're a barbarian, in which case you actually have to spin no, the That's more than I can Barbar speak. No, barbarians are literate in Pathfinder. Oh, they fixed really, that. Are they? Okay. Yeah, I'd still I'd have them be illiterate because I think it's funny. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, he's still used to three point five. That's so uh, you all sign your names on we it. We should just draw your... the giant X because she doesn't buy into the human <laughs> contract thing anyway. Okay, so there's just this, this massive X that like is overlapping Dirk and uh, Ursa's names. <laughs> yeah. If, any, if anybody gives it a funny look, Dirk just looks up and says, "That's actually how she spells her name." <laughs> It's been an, obs an obscure it's an orc. Orc. <laughs> And finally, I just well, need what your language, actually. What's your what's your guild name? Because a lot of the times, will people hire here based on uh, guilds, not individuals? Mostly because the the city will get to know you by your group, not really by one person. Oh, We're not a group. <laughs> yeah, we. We kind we of are. Well, I mean, according to this paper you just signed, you together. are. Uh, the, um, hmm, would, oh, would folks object to the Shining Blade? That sounds pretty, but it sounds very really elegant. Set. Shining Blade? I think it's elegant. I'd accuse it of being generic, but all of the names going through my head are generic as well, so... Well, well the only thing I can come up with is don't blame us, we were nowhere near the explosion, which I don't think is fitting. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's that, that that's that. Besides, which we on number one, that one's properly shortened to the dirty pair. And, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Very true. And number two, it's not necessarily the best advertising. <laughs> never actually watched that. <laughs> okay. So... Bruce Cordish wants to suggest a couple of humans and some other people. <laughs> huh? What? That doesn't really shorten well, though, does Nobody it? cares about anybody but the humans in this society anyway. So you want to you be called what? A couple of humans and some other people. <laughs> Shouldn't should we exert a lot of effort getting no, that, that young that's, 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 smart adver that's smart advertising. Yeah, you know, because people only pay You're selling to the human, human market. <laughs> exactly. What we, well, then we're excluding the non-human market. There's a total mix no, of people No, we got other people. Here. You got humans and other people. That's great business sense, Rich Kadish. No, it's not. Nobody's <laughs> going to vote for somebody who was defined as the other people, according to the group heraldry. Uh, <laughs> we could call ourselves the last word, because when we get we get in the last word. Ooh, uh, I like that. The last word? <laughs> okay. How about Fine. the last no, words? Right. Last word. Oh, what? What? Oh, he needs a pun on like sword. A pun? Yes, yeah, it's a pun on clever. sword. I like that. Like last, last, last sword. sword? Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Well, do you want the last word or last sword? The very uh, sword centric name Reese Cutters complains. <laughs> well, well, she 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 yeah, it should be called call Last Axe. The Axe <laughs> 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 <The axed. laughs> question. That, that just the makes it sound quest. like we're running, running out of deodorant. <laughs> you know, I'm just glad, I'm just glad Rich Kadish is an axe for a natural axe, but you know. <laughs> Let's just go with the sword thing. We can okay, always change it later we'll, we'll, for something better. Uh, well, you, last sword sounds good, says the 
receptionist, uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, just write it down here for continuity's sake. Sure. Uh, yeah. okay, you sign it up. It. He turns around, he looks over the rest of it, uh, stamps it with a guild seal of approval, and Woo! then he gives you a copy of it for the leader to hold on to in case any matters come up where you might need to prove your a validated guild. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so you're officially guild members now. Uh, you can take any jobs you'd like, but keep in mind they're all first come, first serve. So uh, if another guild picks it up before you, you're, you know, you're shit out of luck. Um, only a few jobs will usually remain on the board at all times. These are usually bounties because they're not you know, they're okay. they're always up for grabs until someone. Let's steal away from the bounties for now. Hello, mother. Let's grab some bounties. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and beyond that, here. beyond that, you're, I'm gonna guess. Uh, I'm going to guess oh. that they, if they haven't started putting up a generalized bounty on uh, on crabs, they're about to real yeah. soon. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. There, we're actually waiting word from the uh, Bastille as we speak for there to start being a reward on, on these things, mm. if more starts showing up. Um, we do technically have an open quest to investigate them, uh, possibly find where they were coming from. Uh, that's always an option, but uh, you're welcome to look at the board, see what's there. Um, you, that's you okay. know, we might, we might want to look at the board, among other things. I don't know how many of us are good at tracking because in order to find where they come from, we'd probably uh, someone needs to be decent at that. Track is survival, right? We also yeah, do have. Survival. Yeah, I have. Before zero, I forget, survival. before I forget, um, I was also supposed to give upon completion of your guild. Heinrich wanted me to give Dirk a official quest to investigate a individual called Lamont. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Dirk, you obviously recall that that was the guy who sent thugs to pick on Millhouse. Um, yes, I totally remembered that. You do oh. now! Uh, do acknowledge nobility. Have we gone through this? Dirk right? has the ability to be able to... Uh, and, and That's only, a only, right? only Dirk can. Oh. Can we not rule for it if we don't have it? Uh, mm. if you don't have for it, if you don't have it, the best you can do is a 10. And this is something very specific. Oh, okay. Um, no do you, do you have, um, Rick, do you have knowledge nobility? Uh, I do not. I have knowledge local and knowledge history. Uh, you can try knowledge history. It's going to be harder, though. Okay. Yeah, I, I there, eventually I do get a bard ability that lets me do any knowledge check on train, but I don't. That's okay. several levels in the future. Right. Wow. Wow. Natural twenty. What, what's the total? Oh, perfect. Twenty-eight. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So Bar bards get bonus to knowledge skills. So this is why he's the leader. Dirk the Noble <laughs> has no idea what the hell Lamont means, but uh, uh, Carisho vaguely remembers hearing about not a noble exactly, but a painter by the name of Lamont who would paint for the nobles in Gelda Blame. A painter? I but you can't, somebody who will be me out. You can't okay. remember many details about him, but you do remember that there was a pain, a, a rather famous painter who was always commissioned by the family of nobles. Hmm. Mm. And we're uh, and okay, and remind and okay, to, and we're and we've been commissioned to find uh, what about Lamont? You're commissioned to find any information you can. You're basically, you've got free reign to investigate it, and any information you find, Heinrich will reward you with. Uh, well, that's as good as anything. How well, the thing it? is, I doubt, I doubt that's going to be, the thing is, is I doubt uh, uh, knowing, uh, knowing about a painter is going to be, uh, going to be sufficient. 
However, what it does give us is it gives us a place to start looking. Okay, the Rock Guild, the Rock Museum? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to... Well, there's, well, there's the, the Noma. If he's a painter, what we would first need to do is find, some, uh, find someone who might be buying up art supply. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, the secretary kind of shoes you away because he's getting, you know, like, You're back in the line by up, other guilds. Um, yeah, and yeah, you you have free reign to look at the bounty board or the just the regular quest board. I, I think honestly... Bounties. Looking, looking at, uh, you know, research, uh, researching uh, art supplies or maybe, you know, finding out what nobles might be, uh, 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 might be uh, picking up, uh, uh, picking up stuff like that might be, uh, uh, or, you know, if there's an art collector nearby, that might uh, be a good start. So okay. we've got options. We can try one of the, whatever the equivalent of an art store is around here. We can try a museum General support, or art support, probably. Thank you, dear. Oh, Museums, or I don't know anybody who's bought a really expensive painting lately. And would you be able to recognize what his art looked like if you saw him? Probably uh, not. Yeah, uh, no, I'm gonna say I'm no. Not, I'm good. Probably not, but <laughs> it's possible. You know, I'm sure that there are people in town who could again could give us uh, some uh, some details. Um, if we find this Lamont, can we kill him? <laughs> Yeah, no, we're maybe. probably going to have to save him from someone who's trying to kill him, though. Blame. Um, no, it means you get to kill whoever's trying to kill him. Well, that's something. There you go. Maybe you'll get to kill several people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you guys going to investigate this, or do you want to look at the board for anything else? You know, it might be good to just look at the board just in case. I mean, we still, you know, it'll take a minute or two to look at the board before we, you know, and we can afford that, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, when you approach it, uh, pretty much just as you're getting over to it, uh, some officials come in wearing very fancy suits, and they kind of – everyone just kind of clears the way for them, and they go ahead and post that bounty that for the crabs. So this is now an official hunt for them, um, and they make it clear to the guilds inside that they don't think that's going to be the last time these things attack. Okay. Uh, Ooh, quick question. Do, quick question. Do any of us have knowledge nature? No, no I no. have the engineering and engineering though. Okay. All right. Never mind. <laughs> what are you thinking? I was just thinking if, you know, if one of us had knowledge nature, we might be able to set up a trap to figure uh, to, uh, to catch them easier, but. Um, beyond, beyond that, besides that obvious job, there are three major bounties with pretty large rewards for, uh, the Dread Pirates of Moore. Oh, yes, I'm sure they're dreaded. Um. Is dreaded as giant crabs? <laughs> The bounty is substantially higher. <laughs> uh, let, let's put it this way. Um, how many zeros are there in the reward? Uh, at least uh, for two of them, they're both at – two of them are at 10,000 alive, 5,000 dead. Oh, my goodness. The, That's a third – the third is at 15 and 10 dead. Ooh, and um, they go I by the name. Sorry? I'm going to guess I don't exactly need a knowledge local check to tell that that's probably outside our league. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> you, you, can, you can judge just by the descriptions of them that they are bad news. You have uh, the Crimson Shroud Wren, who is the most expensive of the three, and he is uh, kind of... Uh, he, he is described as this guy who wears this big red cloak that apparently gives him some sort of magical powers, and he is something to be feared. Um, something to be feared. He's certainly not chosen the best name. A tiny little bird, the tiniest possible bird. Um, you get the feeling he didn't pick the name. 
Yeah, what he could have he could have done. He's a pirate. Like, there's you there's you got arms and point the sword at you and demand pirates not known for their PR campaigns. <laughs> True. He is a human, and Let's kill him. He's bearded, and that's about the most you got explanation wise. He's mid thirties, and he's been seen off the shores of Morta. Which is another island you guys haven't been to, obviously. Which Coda should be happy to kill him. The other one, the other ones are Tetra the Weathered, an elf, very old, um, for humans anyway, r- like middle-aged for elves. And the last one is Two Horns Moralda, who is a human who is. Um, characterized by her large two-horned helmet. Which the scooter should be happy to kill her, too. Which, Just uh, to get a helmet. To uh, gore her enemies. Her are goring naval soldiers with it. Rishkinish, important threat assessment. <laughs> um, and Meralda, of the three, Meralda is the one that seems to be closest to Nona Islands. Uh, and you suspect she might be the one that the Navy is patrolling the oceans for to make sure she doesn't, like, sack the island you're on. Well, there's uh, that much female equality, but this her, isn't quite what I was meaning. She is described <laughs> as having, she has a vessel called the Taurus, which is a, a ship specifically made to ram and destroy other ships. Which could have also wants to steal her ship. <laughs> It's a very rich condition kind of ship. It's just like axes are just taped to it on like all sides. <laughs> <laughs> um, besides those three bounties, there is a um, a bounty on a local bandit. Um, Rin is his name. He's uh, wanted for stealing about. Wait, isn't Ren the pirate's name? No, Ren, Ren is the pirate's name. This is R I N N. Ren. Oh, okay. Ren and Sorry, Ren. I, I came up with this guy's name on the fly, so <laughs> I apologize. Um, so, Ren is wanted for stealing about 1,500 golds worth. Is he uh, human? Uh, it does not say. But yeah. he's wanted for stealing 1,500 golds worth of. Uh, noble artifacts, or like uh, pieces of noble shit, like furniture. Noble and, shit. Yeah, and he was uh, last seen uh, fleeing the city and going out into the like island proper. Mm, okay, wait, imagine. hold on. How much was that one again? Uh, that one, he's only worth like five hundred, and they're expecting you to return the shit he stole. Of course. <laughs> Uh, what would they give us if we found it but kept the stuff he stole? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, there's always the possibility you know, that the you keep the shit. If we, keep, if, we, if we kept the stuff he stole, then they put a $500 uh, gold bounty on us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't fancy being bounty together. Uh, unless uh, you I kept know, the legend away. We from him. Bounties. General. He already spent it. Where'd you get that nice-looking armor? Found it. <laughs> <laughs> We could spend it, but no, no, good alignment. Good alignment. Let's not end up back in the cell. Yeah, he's the only other major bounty that's up there right now. There is also a, besides the bounties, there is a quest to find, hold on one second. Just, uh, gotta find it. Where did I type this? Okay, uh, a, a woman by the name of Catherine is looking for her... Missing cat Mimi, <laughs> and it's Aww. an hundred gold. Hundred gold. I was very find interested it. in finding the lost cat. Um, That's a lot of money for a lost cat. Indeed, it's it's very, it, does, it is a lot of money. Humans. Uh, clearly the cat is quite precious to her. If you want to come find, you need to understand. The reward you. is in, is in fact a hundred gold. Um, and it, it just says to come find her in the noble district. If you want I have a suspicion to. if we found a cat, well, they, you know, especially considering how cats are, if we find the cat, we turn it in. Otherwise, let's not worry about that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, 
it, if you if you it has directions to where she lives, but otherwise you can t go to her if you want like information, but otherwise just like bring the cat back. <laughs> Uh, I, I vote if we happen to, uh, upon a cat, then we bring it to her. If we does she want the cat back alive or dead? <laughs> no, no, alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, question. Can I invent Valium so that way we can give it to Rishkadesh? <laughs> what, what do you want? <laughs> can I invent Valium? Do you want to drug her? <laughs> I'm sure I have a spell that might fit this requirement. Hang on, uh, let me check. I, I, think, I think it's called Make uh, Riddle. Yeah. I could, I, there, it, well, actually, there is a spell called Calm, but... <laughs> I could use the guy that got it. that up called, ASAP. But, yeah. Uh, it, I, I don't believe it lasts that many rounds. Oh, I was just, just asking out of curiosity. She had this mental image of, like, throwing throwing an axe and finding a cat on the other end of it. <laughs> got him. Well, you can't fix everything with cats and axes. Cats you can fix everything with. <laughs> There's a uh, quest to uh, clear out some uh, dire wolves that have shown up close to this outside the city walls. Ah, the classic. Um, and the last one is asking for performers at the theater. Oh! <laughs> Rishkadesh, I, well, I, I think... Obviously not taking that one, says Rishkadesh. I think Ursa, <laughs> Ursa and, and Karisha are just exchanged a look of sheer glee. I, I just like the, the lights in your eyes. <laughs> Um, that one, the pay is to be discussed. We have to do really well, I think. We should probably do the quest we're supposed to do and then save the other one. For yeah. Me. Yeah, trust me. I've never, never had a problem getting performing jobs. This is true. <laughs> we're branching out. <laughs> um, okay, so those are the quests on the board. I can repeat them if you'd like. Otherwise, you're free to do whatever. I don't care. Now, let's go with the first quest. Rich Kadesh will either kill the pirate or find and kill Lamont. If we try and kill the pirate, we're probably all going to die horribly. Okay, death. no, we want to save Lamont. We kill whoever's after Lamont. Um, we could kill both of them. Rich Kadesh, do a wisdom roll. <laughs> um, what die is that, 20? D20 and whatever your wisdom modifier is. My wisdom modifier is zero, so that'll be fun. Okay. Oh, whoa. 20! Wow, you can Woo! tell those pirates will annihilate you. <laughs> okay, we're just going to change this for mine. She votes for Mott. <laughs> <laughs> the wisest choice she has ever made. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely yeah, get the impression that these... Back, we'll get you on a wisdom check. <laughs> yeah. You can tell that, that any one of them can probably kick your ass. <laughs> oh, by the way, in, in off-topic, but in the event the case is watching this, value your skills, Kay. Don't do anything for free. <laughs> Continue. Just um, getting around to Twitter, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, there you go. What do you guys want to do? Come on. The mom works for me. Lamont, well, yeah, let's let, let's do some information gathering and see if we can figure out if Lamont's been in the area at all recently. Okay. Uh, should we try splitting up, maybe? No, um, we're not too much at once. So that's not going to work. Well, here's the, who. Okay, if we split up, we should do Dirk. will go with Rishkadesh to uh, protect Dirk. Air quotes. Uh, um, <laughs> I'll go. I could go get information. Um, if you want to come with me, or if you want to get information on your own, Ursa, uh, you're welcome to. This is with Carisha, only half okay. because she's looking for information. Okay. So then, if you're going to split into two, who's going where? Um, Carisha is going to hit the. Uh, actually, you know what, Dirk? Since you know a bit about the nobles, do you want to see if uh, the talk to the nobles to see if there's any anyone who's uh, commissioned recently with uh, with him? Sure. Your and if best you don't want to answer your questions, Rich Carter's can intimidate them. There is the, that. Uh, one of the uh, people who works at the guild recommends to Dirk that uh, he go to the Bastille, since most likely a lot of nobles are still gathered around there from the, the last meeting they just had today. Um, All right. And where is... Uh, where is Carisha going, Inersa? Carisha is going to hit the general stores uh, to find, uh, you know... 
to uh, you know particularly those who would deal with plants and whatnot, the, you know, making dyes, okay. paint, and whatnot. We'll head for the rock uh, or something like that. Also, uh, Ursa Carisho, you can do a knowledge local uh, very quick. Does knowledge okay. local high roll? Sure. Okay, that's not not as impressive as the last one, but what could be? Okay. Uh, both of you get the feeling you could also probably go back to the Library of Ancients. While uh, most of that place is dedicated to um, stuff well, revolving was, around the, the I, was, I, I was actually going to bring that up after get, hitting the stores of yeah, one. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, besides the fact that it, it like studies the ancients, there is a section there dedicated to just general like knowledge and other yeah, and, like, that's going to library books. People. Okay, so who wants to go first? Who do you who do, who do you want me to focus on first, Dirk or? Well, okay. Do, do well, Dirk's uh, do Dirk's uh, side first. Okay. All right. Uh, Dirk and Grishkadish will start heading to the Noble District. Uh, when you can already tell that uh, the slice of life that lives on this section is way better. But uh, you also know better than to think it's all Gildeblame, the place you both are from. Uh, the Noble District has consisted of people from Etria, where Carisho is from, the, like the elders from there. And there's uh, also people in power from Lorelei. Although they aren't considered nobles there, they're kind of voted in the office. Yeah, that's um, just probably not going to know them. But uh, as you get closer and closer, you see a, it's gated off from the rest of the city, and as you approach, there are two guards there, and they kind of hail you as you approach, and one asks rather politely, just, what, what's your business? Um? Rishkadish mildly glares at the guards, but doesn't say anything. Oh, thank God. Do you want to roll and intimidate? <laughs> I'll, wait for, I'll wait for Jerk to say stuff before I decide about intimidating them. <laughs> okay. Honestly, she doesn't intimidate so, yeah. everything. The guy politely, he, he's not giving you any trouble, he's just asking what you want to do in the Noble District. We're looking for a painter. Paint, well, he, a painter, huh? Uh, well, I, I guess there are a few in the in Noble District. I, I wouldn't know, I could never hire any of those guys with my pen. <laughs> but, uh, hmm. Well... I guess there's no problem with that. Uh, you are armed, though, so I'm going to have to make you guys wear uh, peace bands on your weapons so that you can't just, like, draw them willy-nilly. Rishkadish doesn't like this. Rishkadish has 12 spares. I wouldn't worry. Uh, it, sorry, ma'am. It's uh, rule of the noble quarter. We can't risk any nobles getting injured. Rishkadish is going to try to intimidate him into letting her keep her weapons as they are. Okay. Dirk, do you want to aid her in this intimidate? Oh god! Um, my intimidate is pretty bad, and I don't really care. I'm already accepting the peace pants. I, I really need to remind everybody that if you intimidate somebody, you'll regard it as hostile the next time you run into them. <laughs> 17 so, you know, intimidate. Oh, that is a good roll. No, I'm gonna roll the 8, but I have a plus 9 bonus. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, do you remember pretty, when you uh, remember when people commented about me teaching them uh, t uh, teaching Kara and uh, and Scarab how to a uh, uh, such a mistake, such you a mistake. So well. <laughs> I should have made it so that they had like one in everything. Um, he yeah. is shaken. You you have you have scared him when when you snarl at him. Uh, the other guard kind of kind of like nudges him, being like, "What the hell are you doing?" And uh, he, he, the, the scared guard turns to Dirk and says, please, please make her wear the peace pants. <laughs> Rish, just this once. <laughs> Rish just glares at Dirk and nudges, elbows him sharply in the ribs, but agrees. <laughs> uh, Rish can just roll, roll an attack roll. You have spikes on your, on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which die do I roll? Uh, a d20. 20. <laughs> yeah. Well, thing is, if he, if he can go, it, it is possible to do. <laughs> Wait, a 
Oh, wait, do I add a bonus for the spikes or just the what the, what, the natural roll? It's the roll plus your base attack. Oh, uh, to be fair, to be fair, if she's not trying to be a hostile, yeah, no. If you don't, if you don't want to hit him, you don't have to. <laughs> I don't want to hit him. Okay, then you take a natural one on the roll, and you just brush up against him. Oh, thank God! Just, just barely, barely misses cutting oh, Dirk. Dirk, some of your shirt is, is like your sleeve has been cut open. That's my favorite sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful with those things. <laughs> The guards kind of stifle labs and open the gate for you two. Um, as you enter, there is quite a bit of uh, bustling going on. There are bards in the street just playing music for nobles. Some nobles are being followed by bards, very annoyed. Um, uh, one bard comes up to you two and actually starts playing a song about... Uh, what just happened with the guards and uh, Rishka just intimidating them, and he's kind of making fun of them. Okay, and now I'll aid in the intimidation. <laughs> now, now no. the intimidation is good. <laughs> okay, you're to Okay, roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy's gonna roll a fortitude to see if he doesn't crap himself. <laughs> uh, it's actually, uh, uh, he he rolled a, a one, so he he just he stops playing and like cow like you know like when a cowboy's bow legged, yeah he he starts walking like that away very awkwardly. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, you can clearly see the Bastille even from the entrance. The thing is massive, it's like a giant cathedral basically. Um. Do you want to head there? <laughs> sure. I mean, we don't really okay, have any cool. other leads, right? Yep. Uh, do perceptions on the way. Oh, okay. Very crowded street. I have a one bonus. Okay. Oh. Or. Okay. Um, you two don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Oh, what the um, hell? Yeah. <laughs> and that is it. You're now at the Bastille. <laughs> um, nothing had happened to you on the way, so you have no reason to be suspicious of your abilities to see into the crowds. <laughs> um... As you approach, there are, in fact, nobles just gathered outside, uh, some Etrian elders discussing the properties of magic, very, very dorky stuff. Uh, there are guards surrounding the hell out of them, though. Um, so if you're even going to get anywhere close to talking to these guys, you're going to need to, you're probably going to need to diplomacy see your way through them. Or stealth. Or, yeah, or you could sneak past the guards to talk to the nobles. <laughs> Which Kodos is bad at both of these things. <laughs> oh, actually, I have a plus one bonus on stealth. Great. Yeah, you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. A giant orc sneaking I mean, I around. Plus, I have a minus one for, to diplomacy. It's better than that. True. <laughs> I'll go ahead and stealth. Uh, you are? You're going to stealth what? Okay. Why am I marked this away? I'm really glad I suggested this way, uh, this, uh, uh, this path of action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is important. What did, what did Rish get? For? <laughs> Dirk, you get... my bonus added. Okay, great. Uh, Dirk, you get past the guards. Uh, Rish just walks into the guards. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, the guards turn to the, to the half-orc, and they just kind of muscle together and push her back down the steps. But the good news is, they didn't notice Dirk, and they're too busy uh, pushing Rishkadish away. Rishka, they're pushing Rishkadish away from the nobles, not even giving her a word in edgewise. But they are too focused on her to notice you sneaking right by them. Awesome. <laughs> so she did assist me. Excellent. Well done, man. <laughs> you like reversed the system. You did so bad 
that they can't pay attention to anything else. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a skill in uh, itself. So. Roll for distraction. <laughs> Uh, that that actually is a bardic skill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, oh yeah, twenty and, for shouting! Hey, look over there! And uh, <laughs> as they're pushing her away, even better, two bards uh, join in on the fun and just start playing music about uh, Rich Kadish getting pushed around by guards. By the end of the so stream, we're gonna give you a lot of guards and post. guards. Okay, you can do that. That's fine, Dirk. You're in front of them. Uh, Still, no one has detected you at the moment. Um, I wrote Knowledge Nobility to see if I recognize anybody here. Okay. Uh, your 15 doesn't really do much. There's just too many of them, and they're pretty confident that the, like, group of them can hold you back. Yeah, because it's it's just you versus them and the guards. <laughs> uh, twenty three. Okay, uh, you don't recognize the Etrian uh, elders uh, Not of the noble of the nobles. You think you recognize one of them, uh, a uh, fairly about your age woman. Um. You believe that her name is, uh, hmm, what was the name I had for this? Uh, one second. <laughs> That's okay, name. Scarab timed out. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I had the names of these nobles. God, there's too many. Okay, um, you believe her name is Lori, and, uh, She's a part of the Melodia family, which is a, a human noble family. And when you two were kids, uh, you used to play together when you were still living with your folks. What's her family name again? Uh, Melodia. Uh, M-E-L-O-D-I-A. Ah, crap. We should, should we wait for uh, It's up to you. Technically, she's she's wait. She, she'll be back in in a second. This way, she can't meta any knowledge. <laughs> Not that I'm worried about that. I'm totally metaing as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> You're, like, writing it down, recording it, and then, like, playing it backwards to make sure I'm not leaving any hidden clues. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, I'm kind of tuning out because I know I'm not supposed to be listening. <laughs> I'm, I'm just tuning in just enough to make snarky comments in the chat. Uh, but you kind of stopped hanging out with her, uh, Dirk, um, when you started getting involved with your noble. With extra noble affairs. Yeah. Um, likely she doesn't, she, she likely knows that you would have been arrested. Okay. But there's always a chance she doesn't. <laughs> I approach her quietly. And let's see. Are you are you still sneaking? Um, I don't mind getting uh, noticed by the nobles. I do mind getting noticed by the guards, but it sounds like okay. the guards have a penalty. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> The scarab, did she... She's still not here. Is she dead? She's not dead. <laughs> Are you sure? I am... Reasonably confident. <laughs> she, I mean, she told us earlier she was dropping in and out. Uh... Uh, I, I don't. I don't want to wait because you know we gotta. We gotta maximize the time we have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. it's, it, and since we're not focused, since since uh, we're focused away from her character at the moment, it's yeah. Keep going. Do we, we fill her in if there's any? Jerk and Rich can always fill her in. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you don't have you you you're confident that you don't need to maintain your sneak if you wanted to just approach her. That like, like the guards aren't gonna suddenly turn around. I'm keeping them pretty busy. 
Can we try a different chat system? That's what Scarab wants to do. Like Skype? Yeah. It's... I have Skype. I need to re-download it on this computer, though. Jack doesn't like Skype, though. I'm fine with <laughs> Skype. It just messes you with my computer. You hate Skype! I, I um, prefer Skype, but, you know, if Jack yeah. wants to be a communist, we can go with uh, 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 Dolby. <laughs> I could do Skype. I'm gonna need to download it. I'll download it now, even if we don't switch, just so that I have it. Let me see here. I, well, I think actually, I might actually already have everyone friended on Skype. I know I don't you, think you I have, have me, I, but Jack has me. I'm friends with Eric There's, on Skype. Yeah, oh, hi, you're here. back. Okay, cancel that. Come on, sorry about that. Okay, what happened? I don't know. It just keeps just deciding that I'm not connected to the internet, even though my internet connection is absolutely fine and working. And also, Jack, um, check your inbox. Uh, which inbox? Highly suspicious. Uh, I, I don't know, just whichever one you use. Uh, check all your <laughs> inboxes, Jack. Check all which, of the inboxes. I don't know Including the mailbox you outside have. your house. How am I going to have sent something there? You never but know. no, it just seems to happen now and again. I'd advise we maybe try Scarf Skype next time because th I never get this problem with Skype. Okay, well I'm reinstalling it on this computer if we if we need to switch. Uh, uh, anyway, what are you doing, Dirk? Um, I approach uh, Lori and say, um, and, uh, salutate her. I forget what the verb is. Salute. Salute. Fine, whatever. Greet. Oh. Maybe uh, greet, Jack? Do you remember what my... I greet her. Rick, do you know what my Skype name is? Uh, hold on, I do have Skype open. Let me look at uh, Let me uh, look at your, uh, 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 at my uh, contact info for you. It might just be my name. Uh, if I open Skype, is this... Oh, wait, no, my computer isn't going to die if I open two programs. New profile. Uh, Skype name, Adele.RedWinters. Okay, thank you. Now the whole world knows it. Yeah, but Changing he still has to, accept, he has to accept them in order to receive uh, info from them. Sure. Really want to it on there. Now look at that. Adele is online in Skype. Oh. Yeah. It's almost as if he's actually here. And, he's um, not. Are you I dead? Are you a ghost? I'm always a ghost. I'm friends with Rick. Uh, I'm not friends with. Well, I thought we saved you. You're friends with me, Jack. I'm you're friends, friends with, with me, aren't you? Yeah, you're uh, friends with me. Okay. Um. She <laughs> turns around, and uh, as you salutate her, <laughs> God. She. I you just what? seen it, Jack. Sorry. She, uh, <laughs> she takes a minute, she stops talking with whoever she was talking to, and she rolls to see if she remembers you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, she does. She goes, Dirk? In a, in a more feminine oh, voice. Oh, dear. Oh, wait, by the way, it, Dirk is his real name, right? He wasn't, like, using an assumed yes, one. Yes, that's his real name. Wait, what did I right. miss? Uh, this is this. Uh, he, uh, a date. Yeah, oh, went on a date. A lot happened <laughs> while you were gone. <laughs> it was gone two minutes. Look, and right yeah, now, right now, so Dirk's off. about to find out that she's pregnant with his baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hollywood. Uh, oh, was. right. Like Dirk's had sex before. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't. Uh, I can't come back. I can't come back I mean, to well, that let's just comment. say money. Well, money wasn't the only thing he was stealing. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk. <laughs> you dog. You <laughs> your girls. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so um she is actually pretty surprised to see you. She asks how you're doing and what you're what you're doing here of all places. Um business, unfortunately. I'm not from your father, I would assume. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm actually... Yeah, she knows you two out of falling out. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be allowed back in the noble quarters after, you know, 
that whole business with your uncle. <laughs> I have other methods at my disposal. <laughs> That's a very, very, very interesting. I, I never, I never thought. I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm <laughs> glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> That's our guild name. I'm, I'm glad you're ball. here. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's 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 great to see you again. You've you've really grown up. <laughs> uh, so um, it's so lucky. Up? Us. It's what do you what do you what do you do here? No, I'm I'm here because my father is uh, proceeding over a lot of the meetings at the Bastille. I think the place is kind of boring, if you ask me. Run away with me, darling. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Carl. One last thing. First it's your, it, it, You can't hear any of this. You're too busy being like... I know. You're being like... That you're, wasn't me, Scottish. That was me. You're like crowd surfing with the guards at this point. <laughs> <laughs> It was so much better when you and I would just run around sneaking at night without our parents knowing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it down needs a more convincing effeminate voice. I do not have one. So you got you get what you pay oh, for, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> well, um Lauren, so give my compliments to your father and my apologies to you as well. <laughs> what are you apologizing? Oh, come on. Don't be like that, Dirk. Well, she's <laughs> bored, right? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, she is bored. Well, maybe something interesting will, ha will happen around here eventually. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you might want to You might want to do an innuendo check. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, what? Eleven. She, she's cute. Eleven. Uh, you do not pick up on any flirtatiousness. Of even course if, not. Even if it's boy, even if it's blatantly there. <laughs> I, I, um, I pick up on any of Ursa's. I'm not gonna pick up on Lori's. <laughs> Dirk's just like blank eye staring the whole time. <laughs> like dead eyed. Orcs have it so much easier. <laughs> <Your end? laughs> <Let me go. laughs> they got cooties. <laughs> we'll afford a two to not get cooties. <laughs> Eleven again. Okay, you got cooties. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> um, does, that, does that mean Lori so should roll a pregnancy check? So here, here's the the GM in me. Are you gonna ask her anything? <laughs> I've been trying. I just can't get a word. In. <laughs> All this flirting. All this fake flirting that isn't actually happening. Whoa, fake! <laughs> Dirk, you wound me. <laughs> All right, come on, ask your question. Yeah. goddammit. it! <laughs> I'm actually here as uh, middleman, um, carrying service. Uh, less known. And I was actually in oh, the market for a portraitist. Jack, are you having microphone trouble? I'm yeah, not. Yeah, I'm gonna need oh, to repeat I guess that. I am. It's not as close to my mouth as it was. <laughs> is, this be is this better? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I'm actually in the market for a portraitist. Uh, you wouldn't have Portraitist? <laughs> Someone who draws portraits. Shut up. <laughs> You never were the uh, brightest one in the bunch, but that's why I liked you. <laughs> uh, she ponders for a moment. Hmm. I know there are a few artists here. Uh, is there one in particular you're looking for? I might be able to get my father to get a hold of them. Ooh. Thank you, Sarah. Um... Welcome. And I've forgotten his name already. Lamont. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> um. Uh. You remember? It's fine. I don't. Care. <laughs> 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 uh, there was one 
Um, I was asked to seek in particular, uh, Lamont? Hmm. Let's see if she remembers. <laughs> <laughs> so she adds her nobility score to that. Um, Lamont? Hmm. I don't, isn't that painter dead? <laughs> hmm. uh, I, I, I don't recall that. That's an old painter. I, I'm pretty sure that guy hasn't been alive for like 20 years at least. We were like barely old enough. I, I think my dad had a picture made by from that guy, but yeah, he was he was dead by the time you and I were like three or four. Interesting. Uh, maybe you've been away from the nobles too long. Uh, I can maybe get you a different one. <laughs> no, that's that's fine. I will seek elsewhere, but it was nice seeing you again. We should catch up. <laughs> you must where, catch where up. You, where, are you stay, where are you staying? Uh... What was the name of the inn again? Everybody remind him immediately. <laughs> <when> <laughs> <you're> <laughs> right. Roll, roll wisdom. <laughs> if you actually want to tell her anyway, <laughs> you can bullshit her. <laughs> you can also no, do knowledge roll. That would be cruel. Maybe you should roll sense motive. No, we already know that. <laughs> that was what the end you went I was think Dirk knows. 23 to bluff. What are you, but what are you saying, though? <laughs> Tell her it was a place being attacked by a giant crab. She won't necessarily know which place was being attacked. <laughs> by the, <laughs> the place with the massive crabs. There's been a uh, few incidents. Okay. Knowledge local. Sure you remember you're staying, at, you're staying at the port side in. Um, oh no! I, the knowledge local <laughs> is looking for a different establishment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you passed by a, a noble one nearby and. I don't have a name for it, so you can just say you say that I, one. I say that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sense motive. Oops. <laughs> she, she rolled wow. a natural 20. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, she, she looks at you and giggles. She can just tell by the way you're dressed that you're not staying there. <laughs> But, uh, she just thinks you're playing coy and, and tells you to be on your way. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But she does she does tell you where she's staying, which, by the way, was the place that you gave. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that, that was my second guess. <laughs> uh, and she kind of pats you on the head. And, uh, she likes hard to get. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, she looks over at the guards and kind of whistles for them to leave your friend alone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Rich, Kaddish, you're, you're not hurt, but you're very dizzy because they've kind of been spinning you around. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you actually, actually, actually. After, after a point, you were really starting to enjoy it, actually. <laughs> it was pretty, it was Rich, pretty Kaddish. fun. Miss Kiddish would it's so be a concert goer if she were in the real world. Like, she'd be one of those people who hangs out at all the concerts. Mosh, 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 right mosh, in front mosh. Of oh, um, as you begin work at, walking away, Dirk, uh, Lori actually runs back up to you and, uh, gives a quick mention that, uh, if, uh, you might want to be careful. I don't know what terms you're on with your dad, but, uh, I hear he's going to be making a trip over here soon. Along with a few other nobles. Um, this pirate business has a lot of people worried about their investments here. The Navy isn't pulling their weight, they feel like. And ah. your, your family's got a lot of money in this, so... so thank you for the information, Lori. Yeah, no problem. I just don't want you, you know, getting into trouble, you know, with your dad. Your concern is touching. Wink! <laughs> she skips away happy. <laughs> Aw, she was sweet. Good lord, my curse was only 13. <laughs> what she likes about you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
<laughs> Don't trust her, Dirk. She only wants one thing. Dude, she likes Stop. bad boys. <laughs> Give her the one thing. You're you're right up her alley, dude. <laughs> no, Rick, shut up. I know some. I I heard something go through your mind. <laughs> There's a dirty joke in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's nice to know that no matter what gaming table I go through, that there's one constant. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Rick. Okay, so we'll, we can cut temporarily. Uh, Rishi, to said, uh, Rick and what was that about? Why were you talking with the stupid humans? <laughs> uh, and and they're like dead end. Uh, and Carisha. You need to find the others. Oh, right, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll cut back to them. Dead ends. So, we're, we're now, no time has progressed for you guys, like, literally, like, this takes place as soon as you split up. So this okay. is happening simultaneously with, uh, Dirk and Rishkadish. Okay. Uh, and you're heading for the... And, and now Jack gets his revenge in the chat window. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, uh, I, I don't, I don't think Karisha will have a problem with, like, a bunch of women hitting on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, he will. He has to decide. <laughs> this is, this is the biggest problem of all. No, um, so you're going to the general with store, us, right? Sir. What? Yeah, we were we were aiming for some kind of like anywhere where there's lots of shops where an artist might. Yeah, have been specifically, yeah, supplies. specifically the you know, um, like uh, you know, start with like herbalists or or you know or you know anything that would process dye. That's mm, a good start, herbalist. and then we could uh, we okay. could expand from there. Uh, yeah, let's there, go for the name there, of there is. I'm gonna need you to do a knowledge uh, local. Knowledge local. <laughs> Natural twenty. Hell yeah. <laughs> Way to go. Okay. Um, you actually, uh, you know, you, you you once again you call on someone to help you. It's the same guy you asked before. He very politely tells you where a general store is with art supplies and stuff like that. There's there's one actually nearby the uh, Adventurers Guild. Then he uh, also politely tells you to piss off, and uh, oh, why he tells me to piss off? Oh yeah. Uh, it's so polite around here. They even he, swear. He, he tells you to stop asking him stuff, and then he goes back to whatever he's doing. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> what gentleman would you to be back for them? Look, um, I, uh, you know, I. <laughs> I guess you I head over there. I'm gonna need you both to do perceptions. Perception. Do I have a point? In, I think I have a point in perception now. Oh, yes, oh thank God. Oh man, I am rolling hot tonight. Well, um, one of you asked if you have a point in perception. You if you do not have it, it's, uh, if you if you do not have ranks of perception, you rank, uh, you you just add in your uh, uh, your wisdom uh, bonus. Okay, so that's I have one rank in perception. Okay, so what's, what's your... Two. So if you add your, my wisdom... You add your, wis and... you add your wisdom, your rank, right. and then the d20 roll. Oh, God. Um, so if it, well, your wisdom's a one, a plus two? Uh, yeah, my numbers. Hold on, let me see if I have it written down here. Your wisdom's a plus one, so add two to your roll. So that's 18, and I have okay. one, I have two total bonuses, two in perception. Okay. So and? Okay. So your total is 21. Two okay. from the ranks, one from the 21. wisdom modifier. Okay. Okay. Um, great. Yeah, those are great rolls. Uh, you both notice uh, that there's two, uh, cloaked individuals uh, that are just kind of they've got your eyes on you. And they've, just, us. they've just been watching you walk by. They're not just admiring our attractiveness, are they? Uh, well, you have a nice ass. You're not, you're not, you're not sure. Uh, yeah, it might be. You, can do, you can do an innuendo check, which is a sex <laughs> motive. I got a 22 Actually, and missed it. He got a 23 and saw them. That's History, just the not difference fair. Between, there's, there are different circumstances for yours. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose that um, uh, detect magic would do us any good here. 
Nope. Uh, I mean, you could you could totally use it and see if they have magic shit on them. Mm, I'm not, wor- not too worried about them just yet. I I, I suspect I know what's going on, but we'll uh, but we'll have to. Uh, I'm prepared for something, but let's not put the cart before the horse. Okay. So you're you're just gonna feign ignoring them, like you're gonna you're gonna act like you didn't see them. Like, right. We're gonna play cool for right. now. Okay. Um, play cool. All right, they just continue to watch you as you walk by and go into the general store. Um, inside the store, there is a young dwarf female running it. Um, ahem. Ahem what? <laughs> Nothing. And what? Hey, Karisha has no problem with the shorties. She, she's got a great beard. Uh, <laughs> and so there's no to this pack. Um... And she waves very politely to you guys. Says, how you're doing? Uh, Kri- uh, Krisha, uh, give, uh, give, uh, has a pleasant smile as he waves. Uh, g- uh, g- uh, good afternoon, my lady. Um, I was just Hello. wondering. Uh, we are li- we've been looking for an ar- artist friend of ours, and we think he may have come, pa- uh, come by here. Um, but- an artist friend? Well, we get lots of, uh, you know... We got a lot of creatively sound here. I'm I'm very good at supplying them that kind of material. Oh uh, well, what kind? Of, uh, if, if that's not true, has anyone come in for? And and now I might not necessarily know the specifics about Lamont's uh, style one up, but I uh, would probably know at least a little bit of like, you know, if, if he does really large paintings, if he does sculpture, or whatnot. Uh, you 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 definitely with with the role you had, you know that he does very large detailed like uh, canvases. They okay. Can be, and, um, they can be fa- portraits. Does he favor brights? Does he favor darks? Does he is he into uh, he, he he favors darks, and you know that uh, while he has done portraits, he has done very large um, like sceneries. Like he he liked to paint still lives of like background and stuff. Still still yeah, lives yeah. Uh, still lives landscapes. Okay. Well, yeah. okay. He, per- I, I will describe the kinds of things that he specialized in, and uh, you know, consequently, the 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 level of supplies I would imagine he would need. Um, okay. Has anyone needed that much of these of late? If if I needed, if they needed that much, I'd be doing really well in business right now. Let me tell you. Huh. Uh, no, I I haven't come across any artists that have been painting on that large of a scale. At least not in this city. Um, you know, there, there, are, there, are, there are a three or four artists that are making names for themselves right now, but most of them are, are startups, and really the only reason anyone knows them is because uh, nobles are hiring them. Mm-hmm. No, no, no one um, particularly famous at the moment. Interesting. All right. Um, well, would you be able to give me their names so I could look them up? Sure. There's uh, – let me get four names. <laughs> why don't you type them into the chat so it'll be convenient? So yeah, why, why don't I do that? And this so contained, I sent you contained mostly female names, didn't it? Uh, I'm going to be using a fantasy name generator, so please go easy on okay. names. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's Ernwolf. Uh, I believe that one <laughs> is a uh, half work. <laughs> no, wait, this one's a half work. <laughs> That sounds like it might be a female half or <laughs> It is. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll send Riskadish so they can compete for mates. Arian. That might be Elvin or half Elvin. That is Elvin. And and then finally, the least famous of the three, the half orc or I mean the half not the the half wing, Fanny. <laughs> oh my. Let's not make any uncouth jokes. Uh, there, there's a reason Fanny is gaining fame, and it's not for the quality of their work. <laughs> oh, stereotype. Uh, it's the porn. Hey, look. If there's always a market for something, there's a market for porn. That's right. We should have no, I imagine they have quite a vagrant history. Uh, of the four, you'd say Ernwolf is the most uh, well-known. You don't think that name is real? It's assumed, kind of like one of those like really, really up their own ass painters. <laughs> okay. 
Um, His real name is Derek. Yeah, you know, he picked it purely for the marketing value. Okay, so it's human, human half work, elf or half elf, and then halfling. Yeah. Nice mix. (laughs) Okay. Um, I'll take her and I will briefly. I'll briefly brush my hair through her beard and thank you. May we meet again? (laughs) That is so creepy. (laughs) That was actually really creepy. You don't Um, touch the woman's hair without permission. uh, she kind of just like nods, <laughs> doesn't that you that that, that did nothing for her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna you. usher Carisha out if of you, the store. If you had started smithing in front of her, this might be a different story. No. Yeah, I can't imagine Carisha's <laughs> a type. The smith. Um, okay. Um, and that you know, if you, do you need do you need any supplies while you're here? Because you know, if you're, if actually, it probably you're actually, actually. Yeah, we might as well look. What does she ha- Can we ask her what she has on offer? Yeah. Once I <laughs> <laughs> figure it out. That right. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> uh, okay. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Does she have any ink? Ink? Yeah, she definitely has ink. Yes. Can I buy a couple packs? Do I have an I do have some money. Can I buy a couple actually, packs of ink? Hold on. You know, actually buying some ink is, you know, ink, is, ink and some paper if she has it. Maybe get paper as well. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Looking up prices and stuff. Books, paper, and writing supplies. I love how there's an actual section for this. Okay, uh, what what kind of uh, ink do you want? You can get a reg- you can get regular ink um, for eight gold. That's really expensive. Fuck that. Regular ink. You can, get re- you can get regular ink for a gold, and it's enough for uh, like five pages. I, I do have like four hundred and fifty gold pieces to burn, so Oh maybe you know. maybe you want the high end ink, which is glowing ink. Ooh. Glowing ink Crush emits that. a faint but steady light, typically red or green. Wait, you you read, read, even when it's dark out you can read it basically. You said wait, you said oh, it's okay. uh are you going she she actually really does carve it that would be how how much is the green? The green is twenty five for a vial, which I'm getting is... I'm getting a set of that. Okay. That's good okay. for about uh how many pages is that good for? Does it actually say? I don't want to just like pull a number out of my ass. How many limbs? It doesn't actually say how many you can get out of it. I'll say you can probably get like ten pages. If you like wrote uh-huh. from top to bottom. That'll do. Um, That'll do, pig. You said you said one gold for one gold for like five pages worth. Yeah, so that's just for like the cheap shit, though. Um, I think actually I'll pay, I'll get five, uh, five vials of that then. Okay. Um, yeah, and that, that's the only type of ink she has. The glowing one, she only had one. You bought the only one. Uh, they, she didn't actually. She she does say she didn't make it. Uh, it was found, actually, in one of the, uh, ruins outside the city. So, uh, pretty interesting stuff, but, I mean, it's not uncommon in, like, I mean, it's kind of <laughs> rare, but, but not, like, a super useful rare thing that she's gonna sell for a million. I have ink that glows in the dark. <laughs> um, I wonder if it exists in real life. Hmm? And, and do you want, you want paper? It's okay, yes. I got paper. I, I would need paper. One sheet is just four silver, so you guys can easily stock up on that. Uh, one sheet for then. four silver, huh? I think I will take 50 sheets then. Okay. 20 to make. Okay, okay. Four silver, I'd be four gold times five, 20 gold for that, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, just do the math and subtract, whatever. Mine's only about, I don't know what mine is, I'm just taking it down. How many SP, how many, uh, silver is a gold piece? Ten silver turns to gold. Silvers are dimes. Gold, uh, gold, gold is a dollar. Okay. So four times you want a twenty. Uh, twenty so gold would get me fifty pages. No. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm talking the scarab. 
You want a 20, um, right? 20, yeah. She's she's not planning to use the ink on paper. So, so that'd be 4 times 20 divided by 10, right? Oh. Am I right? Did I say that? I don't know. I don't know. 8 gold. <laughs> We're going to say me? it's 8 gold. <laughs> Subtract 8 gold. Okay, so that's 420, and no, I don't know why. Um, I, I also have a straight up like book, you know, if you want like uh, a blank book to write in. I already got one of those. Um, how much would be the how much would the book be, and how many pages are in it? Uh, the blank book is like a hundred and twenty pages. Hmm. And it runs you 50. Hmm. That would if be... You'd rather, if you'd rather get that than the, than the loose paper, I can, like, you can switch it. You know what, that... Hmm, 120 pages for 50, that might be worth it. And, I mean, it's the, the advantage is it's bound, so, you hmm. know, it's not going to just, like, fly out of your hands if you let go of it. Right. You know what, I think I will do that. We'll spend the extra 30. Okay. And, uh, thank you for your patronage. Okay. Please come again. If you know any uh, artists in the area, send them. Yay, okay, well, we have, uh, we, well, we have a definitely have uh, a starting. Uh, we now have artists that we can, uh, yeah, we can check up on. We might want to you know, meet with the others before we start, uh, before we, uh, yeah, before uh, we start. Do we know what species this guy was? He was human, wasn't he? Okay, Ernwolf, uh, Ernwolf is human. Wolf is half orc. Arian is mean, half. Hmm. Doesn't that mean we can cross the bottom three off the list? Because he's not going to be pretending to be like I come. I think it's pretty obvious. Well, it this depends. Guy's it depends. We, it. Any of them um, theoretically could be, but even if none of them are, they might know something about it. Sure. Okay. Uh, besides, as you guys which, leave the store. I'm going to need another perception check. Okay. <laughs> I've lost my, I've lost my, hang on. My D20's gone. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay, <laughs> my good, I ran out of good rolls. Hell yeah. Uh, great. <laughs> Fifteen's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's ooh. because I have a plus seven. You <laughs> both noticed that the streets have, the, like, immediate street around you is just cleared out. Oh, wait, hang on. I got a 20 plus one, actually, so oh. I'll just matter. It, it doesn't, you got it. Uh, you notice that, uh, like, uh, it's as if everyone just, like, left this section of this town. You guys are just, like, alone right now. Okay. Something, something, uh, something's definitely off. Let's, uh, I'm gonna get an arrow out to be, to be on guard. Okay. Um, I want you to do one more perception. One more perception? Sure. Yeah. That'll be fun. Both of us? Oh, that's much better. Hmm, not so good. Okay, uh, Rick, Wait, uh, Carisho Kari sees, uh, very close to you guys from an alleyway, um, an arrow fly out and go right for Ursa. Uh, you can, I'll give you a dexterity, I'll give you a dexterity oh, if you want to try and, like, push her before it makes contact. Okay, yeah, I'm going to, I'll definitely try to push her out of the way. You said dexterity?